everyone, my name is Sherry and today I will show you exactly how Robinhood works. So have you ever felt like you want to start investing? Everyone's talking about investing, but you don't know where to start. You know how to use Instagram, you know how to use Facebook, you know how to use YouTube, but then investing, how? How do I start? Which platform do I use? So today I will show you the first platform that I ever use for investing, investing in stocks, individual stocks. And this is Robinhood. I will show you exactly how the app works. I will show you my portfolio, which stocks I gained and lost money from. And by the end of this video, you will be able to invest in stocks with Robinhood. This will be the most comprehensive video that you will see on Robinhood investing. So this video will be in six parts. Part one, how to use Robinhood to buy stocks. Part two, how to use Robinhood to sell stocks. Part three, how to set up limit orders, which is similar to setting up a limit dollar amount bidding on eBay. Part four, my investment strategy in general. Part five, my capital gains and losses, my portfolio overview. And part six, what you can do to jumpstart your investing journey, get free stocks, and continue getting free stocks. So by the end of this video, you will be able to start investing in not only Robinhood, but on any platform of your choice with long-term gains guaranteed. So let's get started. So this is my portfolio right now. As you can see, this is a dollar amount. Um, today I gained a couple cents <laughs> and then... You can see this by the last week. The last week I gained 133, and then this is the last month, and then this is the last three months, and this is the last year. And then you can see my overall performance. And so I will explain my overall performance in part five. But first, let's look at how to use Robinhood to buy stocks. So what I do, let's say I want to buy this one, one of the top movers. So what I do is I will click on buy. And in here, I will just say however many stocks I want to buy. And then this is the market value and I can click review. And then I can swipe up to submit. But since I'm not buying this, this is just how you can buy stocks. You just swipe up when you are ready. And then let's say how do you sell stocks? How you sell stocks is you go to the front page and then you go to any stock that you want to sell. Let's say I want to sell Twitter. So I will click into this and I will click into trade. And then here's buy and sell. To sell stocks, I just click on sell. And then I will put in however many shares I want to sell. And since I have three shares available, I can put in any number from one to three. Let's say I want to sell one stock. And then this will be the market price. This will be the amount of money that I will gain from this sale. And I can review and swipe up to submit. So this is how you use Robinhood to sell stock. It is very, very easy. And then here's the more advanced version. It is how to use Robinhood to set up limit orders, which is similar to setting up like a limit dollar amount bidding on eBay. Like when you bid on eBay and you want to uh, let's say your maximum price that you want to pay is $30 and you set $30 as your limit order. It is similar on Robinhood. The only difference is that this is stock, not physical objects, not physical products. And so what you do is you go to order type. And here you can see a market, limit, stop loss, stop limit, and uh, get free options trading. And so here we are going to focus on limit. And limit, the market price is $41.39, $41.39. But we can say, let's say, I think I want to buy in at $35. So we can put in $35 and we can continue. And we can select market hours only or extended hours. Usually I like to do extended hours because it gives me more opportunity to buy in the stock at my desired price. And so I would select extended hours and I will continue to submit. So this is how you submit limit orders, which is my favorite way to invest on Robinhood because it is totally hands-free, hassle-free. I don't have to be physically monitoring the stock price for me to buy the stock at my desired price. And then here is part four, my investment strategy in general. 
So my investment strategy in general is that I do not buy anything that I am not familiar with. I do not buy anything that people go crazy about. I do not buy anything that I don't understand. So as you can see from my first page, my overall view, um, I actually lost a bunch of money in my all-time tracker. And this is because initially I bought in a Bitcoin. I bought in a cryptocurrency when I wasn't exactly sure how it works. I did not understand cryptocurrency 100%. So I did buy cryptocurrency at a relatively high price and I still hold a very, very little amount of cryptocurrency just to see how it goes. This is Ethereum and I still have a very little amount of Ethereum just to just to play around with it. But um, I did sell a bunch of Ethereum at a loss. At a huge loss. My average cost for Ethereum is almost $700, but as you guys can see in these like limit sell, limit sell, I've been losing money on all these sales. So this is a lesson learned. I um, probably invested way too much money, way too much like play money into something that I did not fully understand. At one point of my portfolio, my investment in cryptocurrency probably consisted of more than 10% of my overall portfolio. So that is not a good thing. If there is something that you don't fully understand, I recommend you to only invest in less than 10% of your overall investments because it is very volatile. You do not have any guarantee over your gains. You will probably lose money because you don't fully understand it. It is just too much risk for my liking. So this is my overall investment strategy. And my other philosophy is that I will never invest in something that only provides short-term gains. I do not do day trading. I do not do anything that is less than a year. If I don't think this company is going to do well a year, three years, or five years from now, I am not going to invest in it. My philosophy is to invest in companies and stocks that I believe will do well in the long run. So these are just my two philosophies, my two investment strategies. And as you guys can see, after I implemented these two investment strategies, I implemented this around three months ago, my gains has skyrocketed. I went from losing this much money to gaining this much money. So this is also proof that these two investment strategies work. And this is part five, an overview of my gains and losses and my portfolio. So I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough through some of the stocks that I think are worth mentioning, one of which is Starbucks. So I actually bought Starbucks at a relatively good price, and this has almost doubled throughout time. And um, this is because I believe in Starbucks. I believe in Starbucks's products. I believe in their company philosophy. And this is why I bought them at a really low price. This was a time when Starbucks was having some trouble in the Chinese market. So its stock prices really plummeted. But ever since its stock prices has gone up, has skyrocketed. So this is one of the wins in my portfolio. And now let's look at Alibaba. Alibaba is also one of the stocks that I really, really believe in. And again, a couple months ago, it has gone down by a lot a couple months ago. And um, there might be some panic sells. Uh, some investors might look at the Alibaba stock a couple months ago, three months ago, and they might be freaked out by how low the stock went. But there was also a lot of investors who saw the long-term potential of this stock, of this company, and kept investing. So now I am above water. I am no longer under water. And then another stock that I believe is worth mentioning are index funds. Let me just find an index fund. So this is a really, really interesting index fund. Uh, this is SHE, SHE, and I only invested in this last month, last month. And uh, you can see that SHE tracks a market cap weighted index of U.S. large cap companies with a relatively high proportion of women in executive and director positions. And so what the stock does is that it tracks the companies that has more women on board. And you can see the performance of the stock in one week, one month, three months, one year, and five years. It's been doing pretty well. It's almost all gains. But 
Of course, because this is an index fund, it is not as volatile as an individual stock. So it will not gain you as much money, but it will probably not lose you as much money because risk and return, they are proportional. And you can see that for this stock, even though I only bought this stock last month or uh, two months ago in May, I actually already gained capital gains. If I were to sell this today, I will have a positive return of almost $6, and that is 8% in just two months. So that is a pretty good performance for an index fund. And part six, I will talk about what you can do to jumpstart your investing journey. So a really, really popular strategy that personal finance YouTubers and also investors do is that they get free stocks. So how do you get free stocks? You go over here. This is your little person. <laughs> Um, your profile and you can go to free stocks. This is where you can invite friends So as long as you have a Robin Hood account Which you will by the end of this video because you will go ahead and register yourself an account with the link in my info box After you get this account you can start inviting your friends You can invite your contacts and if you want to share a link on your social media on your Facebook page or Instagram Whatever you wish you can also share the link this is by far my favorite way to gain free stock because you can gain free stock up to $500. So this is definitely something that if you take advantage of, I know a YouTuber who gained over $200 value of free stocks just from referring to his viewers. If you take part in this strategy, if you use this strategy, you can really skyrocket your portfolio. You can really skyrocket the value of your portfolio. So you can invite your contacts over here, share the link over here. You can just copy or you can just share it directly to your different social media platforms. Let it be a Facebook, Messenger, WeChat, uh, Google+, Plus. it's no longer a thing anymore, Weibo, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, wherever you want and you can get free stock just like this. You don't even need to deposit anything. So I hope that with this video, you are able to know exactly how to start investing, not only on Robinhood, but also on any platform of your choice with long-term gains guaranteed. I hope you guys found value in this video. If you did, please do share this video with one friend. So I hope you guys found value in this video and learned how to invest in Robinhood. See you guys in my next personal finance video.